fifth grade today for our new math lesson what we're actually doing is we are learning the addition facts with sums of 12. There are four different facts that have a sum of 12. Two of them you already know. The ones that you already know are 3 plus 9 is 12 and you also know 6 plus 6 equals 12. Those are review facts for you. Okay at least they should be. There's two more though Two more pairs of numbers that when you put them together, they're going to equal 12. 4 plus 8 equals 12. And 5 plus 7 equals 12. You'll remember that's the same thing as 8 plus 4 is 12. And 7 plus 5 is 12. Because we can reverse and switch around those add-ins. Okay? Um, so... If you wanted to prove that they had sums of 12, what would you do? Well, you would probably draw out a number line or you would grab out your red math folder or you'd get out other manipulatives and you would be moving them around to make sure that when you added them all together, they really did give you 12. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to practice these facts on this fact sheet. Um, one of the add-ins in each problem is missing. So we need to go ahead and figure out what that's going to be. Right? What is the missing number in this first problem? 3 plus what is 12? 9. 4 plus what is 12? 4 plus 8 is 12. 5 plus what is 12? 7. 6 plus 6 is 12, right? 7 plus 5 is 12. 9 plus what is 12? 3. 8 plus 4 is 12. 7 plus 5. 6 plus 6 is 12, and 5 plus what is 12? 5 plus 7 is 12. <clears throat> okay? Now, we have the same thing happening on the bottom, but this time the numbers and which add-in is missing is switched around. So, um, you are going to work through the B side of this paper. Um, and let's get started at it. 5 plus what is 12? 7. 9 plus what is 12? 3. That's review. 7 plus what is 12? 5. 3 plus what is 12? Excuse me. 9. 8 plus what is 12? 4. 6 plus what is 12? 6. That's review. That's a double. 4 plus what is 12? 8. What plus 3 is 12? Start at 12 and go back 3. 12, 11, 10, 9. What plus 5 is 12? 7. And what plus 8 is 12? 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, hope I showed, just helped you by realizing that there's a couple different ways you can find these answers, right? Review. What plus 9 is 12? 3. What plus 4 is 12? <clears throat> 8. What plus 7 is 12? 5. What plus 6 is 12? 6, of course. That's review. And what plus 3 is 12? 9. That's also review. Okay. <clears throat> On the back side of this paper is a letter for your parents about our fact practice. 
Okay, so these are your four new facts that you should continue to practice. Um, and in your folder for next week, you will have fact cards with these new facts on them, in them. So you can be looking for those. Okay, these new facts will be coming at you the next couple of days with our math facts. Um, so this paper you can keep at home to use for practice. You do not have to return this one back to me. Let's move on to our guided class practice in our homework 45. Uh, what we're going to do is just part of this, and I'm going to have a couple problems just that I want you to do. You need to make sure your name and the date are on your paper. Today is November 13th, 2020. There's a couple problems that I would like to do. I would like to do number two with you. Which number on the thermometer is the temperature closest to? So if I'm looking at my thermometer, I can see that it's in between 20 and 30. I want to round it to the closest one. Is it closer to 20 or closer to 30? Right, 20. So go ahead and write 20 for 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I also would like to do number three. It says how many mittens are in the box? So you need to count the total amount of mittens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then it says to circle the pairs of mittens. A pair is how many mittens? A pair is two. So I have to circle the pairs. I'm gonna circle the left and the right together. Okay, so how many pairs of mittens are there? How many circles do we have to make? One, two, three, four. <clears throat> now, we're going to count by fives to find the number of fingers in all those mittens. Use a different color so that it shows up a little bit better for you. Here we go, we're going to count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, 30, 35, 40. I chose to put a five in each of those. You could have written it underneath like when we're counting other money, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. You could have done it either way. Okay, I also would like to go over number five with you please. Number five says, how many dimes are there, how many pennies are there, and how much money is this? So, let's check the dimes first. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six dimes. How many pennies? One, two, three, four. So we need to know how much total money that is. Remember that I can have my D and my P. <clears throat> how many dimes? How many pennies? Don't forget your cents in at the end. How much total money is that? 64 cents. And let's count it to be certain. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, oops, 64. Did we get the same answer? Yes, we did. Now you might say, Mrs. Fredericks, why did we do it that way? <clears throat> why did we start at the bottom and then snake our way through to the front? Well, it's because they had the dimes sitting in a different spot in the box. So I wanted to make sure um, that we counted all those dimes first and then got to those pennies. Okay. In the back side. I have a couple problems that I would like you to do on your own. Please circle number one. Please circle number three. Please circle that one. And number five. 
don't forget you can put DMP if you need to to help you. All right. Remember the dime says one dime and has a different head than the head of Abraham Lincoln. On the penny, it says one cent, so I know that that's a penny. Okay, we know the dimes are worth 10 cents. Okay, um, when you are done with this, make sure that it gets back into the Friday folder. Remember what I said, you didn't have to do all of it. We didn't do the whole front, we're not doing the whole back. If you want the extra practice though, you can, are welcome to do um, both sides. But when you're done, go ahead and make sure that this is back into your Friday folder.